everybody, back with a new Patreon request. This is from Ryan. He's requesting the 11th episode of Timeless. Last episode was really good. They went back to the Revolutionary War and met the Rittenhouse. Um, but, you know, they killed him. But, the you know, the son was still an issue. Lucy was trying to get Flynn not to kill him. Um, not to go completely terrible person and kill a child. Um, but, you know, Flynn's always looking at the, the big picture and he wants to take down Rittenhouse completely. But, you know, he took Lucy with him. So she is split up from Wyatt and Rufus. I don't know what's going to happen out of that, but I'm ready to get back into it, you know. Yeah, last episode was just really good. So this next episode is called The World's Columbian Exposition. So thank you for this request and let's get into it. Yeah, they're missing someone. How does one jump so fast and so many times in a row? The nuke. The one he got in Vegas. Mm. If he's using it as a battery the way we think he is. Then what the hell is he doing? The, what happens to Lucy? We lost track of her. We don't know if killing that boy would have changed anything. It could have changed everything. Flynn. Okay. You shot his father. You tried to kill him. I'm sure he went deep underground. He changed his name. So this was our only shot. <laughs> Ooh. Chicago Bulls fan. There's going to be a very important meeting between Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, and J.P. Morgan. I'm going to kill them all. And you're going to help me. All of them? They're all part of it now. Okay. Are they? This is Everybody. some Illuminati shit. I will think long and hard for you to me down. Maybe we're not meant to be a team after all, and you know what? If that's true, that makes you expendable. Oh, no. I don't think so. So it's going to be Lucy. Are you going to help me or not? Are you going to give her a toy? You should run. Run? Run where? Is that bad? You. Um, you, you need a new identity and a new passport. I've sent your friends to the uh, World's Fair Hotel. You son of a bitch. But the hotel came to be known by another name. The Murder Castle. You know... The phrase serial killer was not even coined yet when A.J. Holmes... The A.J. Holmes? Cast. Man, every Still show hits on A.J. Holmes. Oh, come on, Liz. You always have all the answers. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the great Harry Houdini. Welcome. Oh, my God. You may not be famous yet, but there's still no one better at getting into or out of time. <laughs> yeah. I will need a volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to help me. Uh, I'm looking for a friend. She's gone missing. That's awful. When did she go missing? Last night. Uh, dark hair, brown eyes. She could be with the old man. Big ass hole in the wall. Accent. Come on, Wyatt. You're a soldier. Scope that out. Oh, Rufus. Did you hear that? Oh, no. What is that? What's happening? He's gassing, y'all? Wow. Okay, they're locked. <laughs> oh, dang. Lucy, I want to put my eye off of him. How do you do that Thank so you. fast? Thank you. And please, tell your friends about the great Houdini. You know, my uncle uh, owns a theater here in Chicago, and he's looking for a new act. He saw your show, and he loved it. I mean, if you were interested, I could make an introduction. Yes. But really? Thank you. I am really, really sorry. Oh. Mr. Houdini, a pleasure. We need you to pick a walk. Oh. That's not too bad. You're just making them accomplice. Hey, buddy. I got gas, too. Yeah. Good times. How'd you not dead? At least you're together. Least two of us. Any ideas on food? Water? I do have this. Happy to share. Cracker Jacks. He used to love these as a kid. A kid, those debuted at the fair yesterday. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Over where at home, someone built this place to trap people. Mm -hmm. Who would do that? A serial killer? What is. You got it. A serial killer. You also have this other trick the cut purse, I believe it's called. Maybe you could teach it to me sometime. I always did love that trick. Ooh. I'll do just that. 
stop. Yeah, I bet you will. Medicine really is paranoid. Can you open it? It'll take some time. Ten minutes, maybe. You got three. Oh my goodness. Ta-da! No flourish? Well, I guess the meeting wasn't at four after all. Who are you? Mm. Mr. Edison, Mr. Ford, Mr. Morgan. Rare pleasure to meet you. My name is Garcia Flynn, and you are Rittenhouse. Oh. Looking for this? You've just been saved <laughs> by the great Harry. <laughs> There's the flourish. <laughs> See my show if you can. <laughs> Are you scared? Yeah. It's becoming a daily thing with me. Yeah. My little boy. He's just in it all the time now. Went to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology for architecture. First woman to do it. You went to MIT? So did I. Oh, you must be Robert Robinson Taylor. Oh. No. Uh, just one black guy at MIT. The other black guy. There were two. <laughs> Yes, girl, figure it out. What? Use that MIT Do you see brain. This one brick? AJ Jones is a monster. There are isolation chambers and secret shoes hidden all over. My friends can be anywhere. So could Holmes. Yeah. Come on. I think it sounds like it's coming from here. A bookcase? I mean, that would be too obvious, wouldn't it? No one said he was original. <laughs> Holmes doesn't have much imagination. Well, you're with the right person. You're never gonna get Is anyone out there? stuck. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Like these people. Lucy? Is, is Rufus with you? Hey, uh huh. Uh huh. Thank you for asking. Man, it's good to hear your voice. He's locked in an office somewhere thanks to Harry here. Not your present. He's not, though. Hi. Hey. Hey. You're okay. Yeah, so are you. Where's your boss? I don't know. Guts. Try harder. He's probably in his office on the third floor. Show me. Does he know who he's working for? Go. Right now. Quiet. George is itching. George, no. Oh, in the wall. Oh no, are you in the incinerator? Fear is real. She's channeling her inner Houdini. If I'm going to burn in hell, you're going to burn with me. <gasps> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Herman Mudgett. How do you know my real name? I know a lot of things about you. Your voice. And a con man. Well, you turned it on. I'm a psychic. Do not tell me that you don't know what's been going on at this hotel. I don't want to know. Okay. Where you can't be willfully Sometimes ignorant about you. this. Disappears into the basement. No. No, you're no psychic. Money, power. I can help you get them all. How would you lock yourself up with us? To be your own victim. Because it amuses me to watch your fear. <laughs> of course. I can get my victims' families closer. Does he tell him the truth? He lies about everything and tells a story for profit. She's a witch. She can't be trusted. Tell him, yes, Wyatt. This is the type of history we can change. I hope we meet again. Or maybe at our class reunion. <laughs> Police will be here in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. I knew you guys were going to save me. Well, you know, technically, I think you saved us. Yeah. Well, technically, yeah. It's right. a give and take. <laughs> if you touch me or anyone in my family or anyone I care about. Oh, does that mean Connor? I'm out. You can just find another pilot. Oh, wait. There is no other Yeah, pilot. you have a good leg to stand I'm on there. all you've got. Pick the side. Come 
Connor. Your turn. You should pick one too. Yeah. Lucy saved Edison, Ford, and Morgan, who went on to become some of history's greatest dicks. How'd you get this number? Oh, and on top of all that, you got to kill America's first serial killer. That must have felt great. What do you want, Flynn? The guy you're looking for. He's currently serving for two other murders in San Quentin. And his name is Wes Gilliam. So the only question now, Wyatt, is... What are you gonna do about it? Flynn, why did you do this? You weren't just making good. So I guess maybe as a distraction? What is Wyatt gonna do? He, he's probably going to hyper-focus on it, and we need his head in the game. So it is probably a smart move by Flynn, but I don't know what he's going to do now that his plan got thwarted. It was cool going back to this specific time period, dealing with Harry Houdini and H.H. Holmes. Pretty cool. I really liked Harry Houdini. The guy who played him was very charismatic. Yeah, that really worked for me, and I like his and... His and Lucy's dynamic. She was his assistant. It was really, really sweet. And good thing she just knows everything about everything to be able to um, tell H.H. H. Holmes his life story to be make him believe that she was a witch. I like that. Uh, and I'm glad that why I got to kill him. Fucking kill him. I mean, I know they usually try not to disturb history as much as they can, but if you got a fucking serial killer to take out, you take him out. Uh, and it's funny, like, them not knowing the name of a, what a serial killer is. I watched um, Mindhunter on Netflix where they basically invent the, the name serial killer. So, yeah, that had not happened yet. So, they're like, what? <laughs> um, I, I really thought Lucy and Flynn were going to be together for a longer period of time. I thought the... the journal writings and everything was going to stop start now but that's not what happened she's back with the gang which i'm fine with i prefer that but her and flynn's relationship is quite interesting and i want to get into that more but you know i'm glad for rufus he really did put his foot down and he can because it's true if there's no other pilot they have to use you so that's good, and maybe that saved Connor because him saying anybody that I care about or know. So maybe it was a two for one there. But he also told told Connor, you you gotta you know make your choice. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, we kind of uh, set back to um, where we were. Now I just gotta figure out what Flynn's next move is, which who knows. He's all over the place, quite literally. So, you know, you never know. So, uh, yeah, I, I like this episode. So, thank you for this request, and I'll be back later.